So yeah, over the pandemic, I let myself go. Now to properly tell this story, we have to backtrack just about 24 months. Two years ago, I set out to diet and work out like Chris Hemsworth using his new Center app. And after working out with Center for 30 days, I got in the best shape of my life. I was shredded, like hands down, I have never been that fit. So I kept going for 90 days. Chris even saw that first YouTube video that went viral and invited me to a workout while he was in New York City for a film premiere. Life was pretty good. I was on top of the world. I was hitting green light after green light. And then, um, then the world fell apart. Every single person watching this has been affected by the pandemic in some way, shape or form. Gyms here in New York City were closed for just about 12 months. I was eating like shit, and I even let my grooming and my personal appearance go. I just, I didn't care. I stopped caring. I even stopped posting here on YouTube consistently. And I went through a pretty brutal breakup. It was without a doubt, unquestionably the lowest time in my 31 years on earth. It feels like a part of me has died. Maybe I shouldn't be recording this. All of the negative and toxic thoughts manifested themselves in my body, just falling out of shape in a major way. I completely lost all the gains that I had made back in 2019. I mean, all of them. Now, most of you have seen that Chris Hemsworth has gotten absolutely massive for his latest Thor role. I mean, the guy is an absolute animal. And after that first center challenge, I loosely kept in contact with Chris's personal trainer, Luke. So I jumped on a FaceTime chat with Luke to hear more about this fitness program that they were working on. Hey! What's up, man? It's not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Just having a coffee. Yeah, good, man. It's been a while since, uh, you know, we've, we've spoken. You know, last time you got in great shape, you know, when you trained with Chris and then... I haven't heard from you while. How have you been? I mean, 2020 was, uh, it, it was pretty bad. All of the 2019 gains are, uh, they're gone. For years we've had Santa now and people have always asked Chris, you know, how he gets in shape for Thor. And um, this program is being written by me and Chris and it's basically based off the training we do for Chris to get him ready for Thor. And Chris is a beast. He has got into the best shape he's ever been. It's actually the biggest he's ever been. And now I want you to Eric to get the biggest you've ever been, mate. The time is now, buddy. I'm in, man. I'm in. And when you're being called out by the man who trains Thor for a living, you say yes. So here we go. It is day number one of Center Power and it's very fitting for this challenge. I'm traveling a lot and I'm actually here in the boathouse where I used to train in high school. It's definitely that underdog environment. You know, we're not in a nice gym in New York City. We're here where the only purpose of being in here is to sweat and get in a good workout. Right above the door, the weak always make excuses. But before we jump into this, here are my starting stats. So my weight is 202 pounds. My body fat is 16.8, and now my base caloric rate is 2,016 calories just to maintain, so I'll be eating close to double that. The stakes are pretty high. I'm not trying to look like a bitch in front of Chris and Luke. This workout is so new. The only people who have done this are Chris Hemsworth, his trainer, and his stuntman, and now myself. So it's not even out yet. The program isn't even on the Center app. Essentially, I'm a guinea pig, and Luke sent me the workout on a spreadsheet. So the Center Power program is 10 weeks long, and it's broken into cycles of three weeks with a deload decompression week. And the program is broken down in a traditional muscle building bodybuilder split. And Luke was saying there's five key principles for Center Power. Number one, it's all about compound movements. So today we are doing deadlifts. It's a lot heavier than I thought it was. Meaning these are exercises that work several muscle groups all at the same time. This is my first time lifting deadlift in almost 13 months. Number two, it's all about the volume. So the only way to truly build that muscle is to do enough reps to get yourself to the point where you have hypertrophy. Meaning your muscles are physically getting broken down so they can regrow and you can come back stronger and your muscles actually physically grow. Number three is the intensity. Now this is more so the tempo at which you're performing these exercises. Because again, this is all about time under tension. Number four is rest and recovery. And number five is training to failure. Oh yeah, one more, one more. Oh, okay. So that, that's the failure. I haven't done pull-ups uh, in 12 months. I'm not even kidding, 12 months. Um, yeah, this is not gonna be easy. This first workout was pretty uh, demoralizing to say the least, just because I know I've been fit before, I've been super fit, and to get up here and only be able to do you know, six pull-ups when I used to be able to do 20 pull-ups. It's all about the consistency. Day number one, first workout is done. It is the 30-day check-in of the challenge, and I'm gonna be totally honest with you, 
I'm not sure if I can get the results that I'm looking for in time. I just got home last night. I've been traveling pretty much nonstop for the past three weeks. And while working out while on the road isn't impossible, it's certainly not ideal for this type of challenge where you're building muscle and have to be lifting heavy weights. Every single place I traveled over the past three weeks, I made it a point to find a gym and try to get in a lift. Even when I was in some of the most remote places in America, I made it work, I adapted. Especially when I was out west in Colorado, I did hill sprints every single day. And now looking back, that altitude training was probably more beneficial than if I was here on the east coast at sea level. As far as progress in my body, I'm definitely starting to see the arms come back in and that baseline level of strength is returning where I'm getting very close to where I used to be during the previous challenge as far as strength. Now let's talk about food. There's my stash right there, protein shakes. Now in order to really pack on that lean muscle, I'm eating just around 4,000 calories, give or take a few hundred every single day. And these are the good calories. I'm talking lean proteins, healthy carbs, and healthy fats. This is meal number seven of seven for the day. We have chicken, lentils, broccoli, spinach, and mushrooms. Eating has become a full-time job, but I'm even noticing the arms coming back. Eating is the biggest part of this entire challenge. Hands down, it's the food. The thing is, when I'm home, it is so easy to do this. I meal prep, I have everything laid out for the entire week, but traveling, traveling has been the realities of travel. It is 11 o'clock at night, and this is my gas station dinner, two Chobani, Gatorade Zero Sugar, trail mix, and a 30 gram protein bar. For the next 30 days of this challenge, I'm here, home, in New York City, so it is time to buckle down and put in the work. So it's day 45, just finished the workout, and I can't even talk, <laughs> just give me a sec. I've seen some pretty crazy strength gains. I jumped on the scale and I was just about two, like 217. We did a back workout today just to compare to that day one workout. On day one, when you saw I was struggling to pull 135. The most I did that day was 185 on deadlift. Now I'm doing three plates pretty easily. It's 315 pounds. I'm getting close to doing 15 pull-ups. Day one, I could barely do four, but it's amazing. If you put in the work and you're consistent with it, your body will change. Even on bent rows, I was using 55 pounds on day one. Now I'm doing 97 pound kettlebell bent rows. Oh, and something else, I'm done off the spreadsheets. The app finally launched, so the program, she wears my phone at, seeing the app, is a lot different than following a spreadsheet. Here you actually have video guides of the workout so you can see your proper form, you can see the intensity, the pace that they're going at. So here you can actually log in your weights and how many reps you got in. So you are tracking everything. I'm finally feeling back to my old self and it's not even my old self, it's a new version of myself which is very cool to say that, to, to have the body transform and also the confidence. My confidence is back, which is something that I didn't really expect from this challenge as my body has changed. 15 days left to go. I'll see you in the final reveal. I can confidently say that I am the strongest that I've been in my entire life. This morning, right before my workout, I went and got an in-body scan, and here are my final stats. I weighed just over 210 pounds on an empty stomach. Now this is interesting because I showed you about two weeks ago, I was hovering around 215 to 218, and a lot of that was water weight. So this is empty stomach, pretty dehydrated, just over 210 pounds. My body fat is 11.2%. This is down from 16.8% at the start of the challenge. So that's 10.5 pounds of body fat lost. It's very interesting because yes, I lost body fat when I really wasn't doing too much cardio. My cardio consisted of sprints on the assault bike, some jumping rope, and some functional kettlebell training. So just by the tempo and the pace that I was lifting at, I even lost body fat. Now also take into consideration that this in-body machine, it fluctuates. I've been really going off my progress by these photos and also just by pure strength gains, like I mentioned the deadlift. I'm an ectomorph, meaning I have a really hard time gaining and keeping on mass. There's a saying sometimes it's easier to get to the top of the hill than to stay on the hill. The goal for me now is maintaining 
this muscle that I have and slowly continuing to add on to that. A lot of friends and family are saying I'm carrying myself in a more confident manner and that's just purely from having the mind and body on the same page. If you're looking to try out Center Power, all the information is down below in the description of this video to sign up. Chris, Bobby, Luke, if you guys are watching this, after that first Center Challenge, I never thought that I would fall back to a place that was worse than that first starting point, but I wanna thank you guys for designing a program that really kicked my ass and got me some crazy results. I'm ready for the next Center Challenge, bring it on. And with that, I will see everyone in the next video.